for the Astros lately. They've been playing very well against the good teams, the playoff teams, not so well against the teams that are out of it. Yeah, he has been the mainstay at the top of that rotation, doing a phenomenal job and kind of being the anchor of this rotation. Lawrence Butler at the top with a 19 game hitting streak. And a swing and a bouncing ball, weakly hit on the right side. Picked up by the first baseman Singleton, flips it to Valdez, who drops it as Butler streaked up the first baseline. He'll be aboard to get the game underway. And Butler ran out from under his helmet as he got to first base. And that would be an error charge to the first baseman Singleton on the toss. Now Rooker bats. And a ground ball to third. Bregman to his left. Goes to second for one. Dubon not quite in time to turn the double play. And Rooker taking off and no throw from Diaz. So Bren Rooker will tally up a stolen base. Payoff pitch. Curveball low. Good take by Langoliers. Late off the delivery down low. And puts two on with one out now for J.J. Blade. Call third strike. Bottom of the zone. Blade goes down looking for Fromber's first strikeout of the day. Little tapper, Fromber will glove it on one hop, flip it to first in time to get Geloff for the final out of the inning. A walk in error, two men left, and a shutout first for Fromber. Mitch Spence, another tough afternoon. He's got to keep it close. The right-hander going to work against Alex Bregman, who swings at the first pitch, ground ball to deep short, grab by Wilson, throws on the run, stretch at the other end, great grab by Tyler Nevin, and a one-pitch Great effort at both ends, retires the Astros third baseman. Man, what a start. 2-2, bouncing ball on the right side on an off-speed delivery. Coming in for it is Geloff. He'll flip the first. The curveball pays a dividend early for Spence. But he hits this one down the line in right field for a base hit. Cutting it off quickly, Lawrence Butler is going to hold Yiner to a single, but the Astros have their first base runner of the day. Yeah, strike three. Mitch Spence, great job getting through it after the energy a single. Comes back when Fromber was feeling like the Navy jerseys were his good luck charm. He's not going to the Navy as much anymore. Ground ball weakly hit right side, charging and fielding the second baseman Dubon throws to first in time. 0-2. Ground ball left side to his right, fielding it. The shortstop Pena straightens up and throws to first in time to away. Line drive speared by John Singleton to end the inning. Daz Cameron hits it hard. It's an eight pitch second inning for Fromber. Closest we have seen to a home run in this series with a pit was a pinch hit triple by John Singleton his first and only triple of his big league career. This one is the other way a flare that could drop and it does that'll be a base hit and a double for Big John. A little different exit velocity than his triple off the bullpen wall but that'll work. The Astros could use a spark like a home run they've been kind of waiting for something to cheer about here in this series against the. Oakland A's who have won the first two games. Curveball and that's belted to right. Sends back Butler at the wall looking up. See you later. Jay Hay his first home run in an Astros uniform. And the Astros take a 2 nothing lead. Hayward with his seventh home run of the season now has 32 RBIs. The five ground ball outs induced by the veteran lefty. He's retired six straight. That will bring up the right fielder Lawrence Butler. And can this get fair? It does. Lawrence Butler going for two. And Lawrence Butler's extended the hit streak to 20 games. That'll be his second full count to Shea Langoliers. Lost him last time on a 3-2 pitch off the plate. And he goes right down the middle with a fastball for a call third strike. Robert picks up his second strikeout. Both call thirds. This is the final game of the penultimate homestand of 2024. The Astros go away for a week and then back home for seven more games. Yiner's two for two going after a first pitch here. Both of his hits have come with two outs and nobody on but he has got two of the Astros four hits. Here's Kyle Tucker who struck out looking his first time up. First three ball count for Spence. Tucker hooks one to right field pretty well hit. This one is off the wall and bounds away from Butler. Yiner Diaz will be held up as Butler's throw comes in. That was a tough call with two outs for Gary Pettis. Butler had not yet let go of the ball and he held up Yiner Diaz but the Astros is second and third. When he goes around second base he doesn't need to look at the ball behind him. That's Gary Pettis's call. Pena chops one towards third on two hops. Nick Allen will make the play. And the Astros will strand two here in the inning. Couple of hits with two outs, two left on. Numbers had one very efficient inning and two higher pitch count innings. Starts with 53 pitches through three innings, facing J.J. Blade, the number four hitter. That's a good pitch outside corner. Rung up J.J. Blade for the second time. 
Back to back strikeouts looking for Blade. This is a beautiful slider staying on that outside corner. Foul tip caught by Yiner. He picked it before it got to the ground. That'll be the first swinging strikeout for Frobert. Four overall. Got him. Frobert strikes out three in the inning, works around a single and a wild pitch, and through three and a half, the Astros with the lefty on the mound lead to nothing. Robert Valdez so far has had two runs to work with. He has held down the A's to no runs on a couple of hits. Oh, got him with the curveball. Cameron slumps his shoulders and glares at Jeremy Rehack. Five consecutive outs for Fromber with a strikeout. Fromber Valdez being deceptive. How about the average launch angle against him in his career? Negative one. Well, there's one. That's just what we we're talking about. A little ball pounded to the ground. Wow. Pena. Got him. What a throw and what a play by JP3. Fromber could do nothing but beam with smiles. At Jeremy Pena's great play. One, two. Another one chopped into the ground. This will be an easier play for Jeremy Pena. Jeremy made the play of the game so far. That's why Fromber is smiling because he helped out for a one, two, three inning. Showing good command of that curveball again, using it to get the swing and miss. Fromber Valdez looking to keep this game right where it's at as he works into the sixth inning. How about it? Yeah, this will be number nine when Alex gets this one across for his ninth round ball out. Spence. Has 12 ground ball outs, not one in the air. Jay Langoliers bats, another one tapped towards third. This will be charged by Bregman. His throw will get the catcher Langoliers by a step and a half. Bregman has been busy for the second out of the inning. Ground ball right side. It'll be Dubon who picks it nicely and makes the play for the final out of the inning. Robert with just six pitches to face four batters and get through the sixth inning. Hey, Mitch Spence has, has pitched really well here, especially lately. That's now eight in a row. He's retired. Very efficient outing for Mitch Spence, who has been pitching in leverage counts all game long. He's usually a guy that has had trouble with walks and getting behind hitters, and he'll get through six with those two runs allowed. And as the seventh inning starts, the Astros will get their bullpen going for the first time. Robert delivering his 90th pitch of the game. Jacob Wilson dumping one out into center field. The diving effort from Jake Myers gets past him, and Jacob Wilson himself on second base, a single and a double today. Right side of the infield is going to advance the runner, Wilson. Nevin retired for the first out. One out and a runner on third. Daz Cameron has lined out and struck out looking. Pitch to Daz, swung on hard. It's going to hit the gap. Here comes a run home. Daz Cameron with an RBI single. Fromber will not go seven innings for the first time in his last four home starts. On seven, his previous three goes six and a third today. Still pitches excellent baseball, giving his team a chance to win the final game of this series. He'll get a big hand from the Minute Maid Park crowd on his way out. One out here in the seventh and a runner on base. Brian Abreu's coming in out of that bullpen to make his 72nd appearance. AL leading 72nd appearance. Hits it sharply. Singleton with the foot on the bag and they make the tag in second double play. Brian Abreu comes in, throws two pitches, and gets Brown to hit into a sharply hit double play to end the inning. Third time through the order. It's a 344 batting average against Mitch Spence. When you look at his third time through the Astros order, just that lone hit. Bregman swings at it. The ground ball result they wanted. And Jacob Wilson over to Seth Brown. Job well done by Mitch Spence. Yeah, it's going to be Ryan Presley. 355 is his ERA. He's making his 54th appearance. It's been an 0 for day for Brent Rooker. Trying to get his on base streak to keep moving. This one in the air. This one has some distance, and this one has tied the ball game. Brent Rooker with a solo home run. That's a way to extend the on base streak and a way to tie the game. 1 1. That ball hit well to left field. Jordan is going to make the catch. Kind of staggered. Jordan making the catch to end the inning on a well struck baseball by Gelop. The Yiner Diaz. Showed you last night already has the Astros marked for the most three hit games for a catcher in a season. Has two hits already today. There's going to be the third hit. Yiner Diaz with a base hit dropped into right field. He is three for four and owns three of the Astros eight hits today. And there's his first hit against the lefty. Yiner will turn and hold up as Tucker singles the other way. His second hit of the game. It'll be first and third with two outs for John Singleton. There's the ball in the center field. A three hit game and the go ahead RBI for Singleton in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Big John having a big Thursday. Astros scoring all three of their runs today with two outs. 
Jake Myers trying to add to the lead, and he does. Jake sends one to the gap in left center. Trotting home Tucker. It is a 4-2 Astros lead. Jake Myers, the RBI double. Jake found the rake. And now Jason Hayward will be intentionally walked to get to Mauricio Dubon here with the bases loaded. Base that. hit. Left field. One run in. Here comes Myers. He is going to be safe at home plate. Big news right now is Mauricio gives him two insurance runs. Two out lightning for the Astros on this slider down. Big swing from Doobie. Yeah, the Astros jumping out to that big lead. Doesn't make it a safe situation, but Hader already hot, ready to go, and you want to close this game out with a W, so you bring him in. Lifted to right field. That ball's going and out of here. Tyler Nevin with the ninth inning homer to get the A's their third run of the game. Little backside boogie from Nev. Got a babe. Astros trying to move back to four games ahead of the Mariners. Seattle playing later tonight. Call third strike, ball game over. Astros win a game in this series, six to three. They snap a three game losing streak. Big John came through huge today. The Astros scoring four in that eight.